The Cosmic Architects, Unveiling the Secrets of Supermassive Black Holes. Ever looked up at the night sky and wondered about the forces that hold entire galaxies together? Hidden within the glowing cores of most large galaxies lies a cosmic mystery so profound that it challenges our understanding of the universe. These mysterious objects are supermassive black holes, the largest kind of black holes known, some with masses tens of billions of times that of our sun. But where did these giants come from? How did they grow to such unfathomable sizes? To answer these questions, we must embark on a journey to the frontier of human knowledge, led by the cutting-edge James Webb Space Telescope. In this celestial exploration, we'll uncover insights about the origins of these cosmic titans and the role they play in shaping galaxies. Prepare for a wondrous odyssey into the heart of the universe itself. Picture a region of space so dense, with gravity so strong, that not even light can escape its pull. That's a black hole. Supermassive black holes, however, are in a class of their own. These behemoths can have masses ranging from millions to even tens of billions of solar masses, dwarfing their smaller stellar mass counterparts. They typically sit at the centers of galaxies, acting as gravitational anchors that keep billions of stars, gas, and dust in orbit. What makes them truly astonishing is their scale. Imagine compressing the mass of millions or billions of suns into a size smaller than our solar system. That's the sheer magnitude of a supermassive black hole. While they themselves emit no light, we can see them indirectly. The swirling disks of gas and dust spiraling into these black holes blaze with brilliance, becoming some of the brightest objects in the universe. For something so massive and central to galaxies, it begs a fascinating question. How did such cosmic giants form? The origins of supermassive black holes remain one of the greatest mysteries of modern astrophysics. Scientists are still grappling with two key questions. What seeded these immense objects and what caused their extraordinary growth to colossal scales? One possibility is that supermassive black holes began as smaller seed black holes formed from the collapse of massive stars in the early universe. Over time, these seeds may have grown by consuming nearby gas, dust, and even other stars, eventually becoming the titans we observe today. Another theory suggests that galactic mergers are responsible. When two galaxies collide or interact, their central black holes may merge, creating larger ones. These cosmic collisions could trigger rapid growth as the combined galaxy funnels vast amounts of matter toward the growing black hole. Yet another fascinating idea posits the existence of primordial black holes, ancient black holes formed directly from the density fluctuations of the Big Bang. Could these relics of the universe's birth have provided the seeds for supermassive black holes? The challenge lies in observing these early stages. Traditional telescopes, limited by their ability to look only so far back in time, have left much of this story untold. But that's where the James Webb Space Telescope shines. The James Webb Space Telescope is humanity's most powerful tool yet for uncovering the secrets of the cosmos. Launched to gaze deeper into space and further back in time than ever before, Webb is perfectly equipped to tackle the mystery of supermassive black holes. How does it achieve this? The longer wavelengths of light that Webb observes allow it to peer into the distant past, back to the universe's infancy, just hundreds of millions of years after the Big Bang. This is a time when the first galaxies and black holes began forming. Crucially, Webb's extraordinary sensitivity enables it to detect faint ancient light from objects billions of light years away. By studying this light, scientists can investigate the interactions between early galaxies and their growing black holes. Could these early building blocks provide clues about how supermassive black holes came into existence? Webb's observations are already transforming our understanding of the cosmos. For instance, the telescope has uncovered distant galaxies that are astonishingly luminous, and some of these bright galaxies may harbor black holes in their cores. These early black holes provide scientists with a view into their formation processes. Did they start as small seeds, steadily accumulating matter, or were their births more dramatic, involving collapsing gas clouds or direct formation in the densest regions of proto-galaxies? 
By observing these ancient black holes, Webb is piecing together this cosmic puzzle. Moreover, Webb is offering insights into the connections between black holes and galaxy evolution. Early galaxies were chaotic, often colliding and merging in spectacular displays of cosmic violence. These mergers could have triggered the rapid growth of black holes, helping them achieve their impressive size in the universe's first billion years. What makes supermassive black holes so fascinating isn't just their size, it's their deep connection to the galaxies they inhabit. Observations reveal a striking relationship between the mass of these black holes and the size of their host galaxies. Specifically, a black hole's mass is often proportional to the galaxy's central region, or bulge. This relationship hints at a profound interplay between black holes and their galaxies. As black holes grow, they release enormous amounts of energy, affecting their surroundings. This energy can blow away gas and dust, potentially halting star formation in their galaxies. In this way, black holes influence not just their immediate environment, but also the evolution of entire galaxies over billions of years. Despite their massive influence, Supermassive black holes are surprisingly rare in the cosmos. Most smaller galaxies don't appear to host them, and even in larger galaxies, their formation seems exceptionally unique. The conditions that allow a supermassive black hole to form and thrive are still not fully understood. Did they require exceptionally dense environments during the early stages of the universe? Or were they the fortunate survivors of turbulent cosmic events like galaxy mergers that destroyed other potential seeds? What makes this question so compelling is that every new discovery, Webb makes challenges current theories. Long-held assumptions are giving way to dazzling new possibilities, driving astronomy into uncharted territories. The James Webb Space Telescope is only the beginning. Several next-generation observatories, like the European Space Agency's Athena X-ray Observatory and the U.S.'s NASA Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope, will complement Webb's work. By providing even more detailed observations of galaxies, black holes, and the cosmic web, these instruments will continue pushing the boundaries of what we can see and understand. The future of black hole research is bright, and with each discovery, we're one step closer to unveiling the full life story of these cosmic giants. Supermassive black holes occupy a unique space in our collective imagination. They evoke a sense of wonder and curiosity, reminding us of the vastness and mystery of the universe. These aren't just engines powering galaxies. They are cosmic time capsules, holding clues about the birth of galaxies, the distribution of matter across the universe, and perhaps even our own origins. As Webb continues its journey through the cosmos, there's no doubt that it will unlock secrets that will astonish and inspire generations to come. The universe, vast and infinite, holds so much more for us to discover. For now, we look in awe at these cosmic architects, contemplating the forces that shaped not just the galaxies, but the universe itself. Supermassive black holes may be elusive, but their allure is undeniable. They are a testament to the profound mysteries the cosmos holds, and a reminder that the journey of discovery is as infinite as the stars above.